Hi everyone, um, I'm Miss McCrone and I'm really excited to be back and introducing our second science topic, which as you can see is all about animal life cycles. So before we get into our lesson for today, I wanted to review our five E's of a science lesson. So if you remember, there are five E's, which are engage, explore, explain, extend, and evaluate. Today, since it's our first day, we're really just focusing on engaging and exploring a new topic. So we're not gonna get into too much detail. You might not learn new vocabulary words or anything like that. Instead, I want you focusing just on your observation skills, I want you to be thinking about questions you have. I want you to be using your prior knowledge and making inferences, making guesses about things you see, and writing them all down in our observation journal because we are going to use that later. So today's uh, video that we're going to watch together is about two pandas from the Atlanta Zoo. And we're gonna watch how much they grow over three whole years. So before I start the video, I wanted you guys to um, get out a piece of paper, get out a journal like the one I have here, a pencil, a pen, a marker, anything. If you don't have a pencil or pa a paper, you can use your phone and um, write things down in the notes. I want you to just write down as much stuff as you can while watching this video doesn't have to be complete sentences. It can just be short little phrases, things you see, write it down. You guys ready? All right, let's get started.
right. So I hope you guys got a chance to write down a lot of stuff. I started writing down a lot. I even decided to draw some pictures. They're not the best, but I wanted to draw how cute those pandas looked at one point. Because sometimes if an, a scientist doesn't know what to say, they can draw a picture of what they see instead. So the next part of our lesson is writing down everything we saw in our observation journal. So if you remember, our observation journal has three sections. A see, what did you see during the video? The think, this is where you saw something, you weren't quite sure, so you're making a guess what you think is going on. And then a wonder, which are any questions you have, things you saw and you were like, hmm, I wonder why, or I wonder what's going on there. However, last week, I got some questions about some students who, um, couldn't uh, fill in the observation section of their journal. So I really wanna take a couple seconds to show you guys how you can reopen the document in order to write down or type in the things that you see. So the first thing you need to do is go to the RPS at home page, and then you need to find the, um, third and fourth grade science lesson. Once you've done that, you should find the link to the observation journal, which should look like this. All right, so this is what it should look like. And this is where you guys had a hard time typing. That's because this is the original document. So if I ever assign you guys work, like this in the future, you guys are going to have to go up here to the top corner, press file, then press make a copy. It's gonna ask you to kind of create a new name so you can rename it like animal life cycles or something like that, anything you want. Once you press okay, that's when a new document should pop up. And that one is all yours, it's for you, and that's the one that you can type on. So if you look, I'm gonna scroll down, and now I should be good. Type, okay? So I hope you guys um, had a good time watching the video with me. I definitely noticed a lot of things. I definitely have some questions though that I'm still thinking about, some behavior I saw, some things I saw going on with those pandas that I kind of wasn't quite sure about. So we're gonna go over some of those things later in the week. For now, I wanna leave you with one final science challenge. I challenge you to spend five or 10 minutes going outside and finding and observing an animal on your own. It can be a bug, it could be a bird, it could be a pet, doesn't matter. I want you to spend five or 10 minutes outside watching and observing the what the animal looks like, how it's behaving, what it's doing. Make your own notice and wonder page, and if you come up with a bunch of great questions, that's great too. Keep that in mind that we're gonna need that information later on in the week, and it might help you learn something new. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to find out more about your observation journal and I will see you next time for our second day of learning. Bye.